What's up guys, Psychopuckle here, bringing you another One Piece Treasure Cruise video. So this will be doing a reroll guide to tell you a little bit about how to reroll on the OPTC Japanese version, or even do it on the global version, and if you do it on the global version, of course it's much easier to read and everything there. Before you click off this part of the video, make sure you guys note that if you are looking to get 500 gem starter account, or 444, or 494, or whatever you want to call it, what you do have to know is that if you are trying to do that, it is going to be only for the 4th year anniversary between the 2nd of May all the way through the 14th of May, because that's when the it is possible to do so. If you are trying to just get a normal reroll guide, I do go over that as well and tell you exactly how to reroll for the anniversary and how to reroll for the legends that you want, etc. And this will also tell you how to reroll for mail so that you can get that 500 gem account. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is we need to download something called QO app. So we're gonna go to the web browser and go QO app and we type APK, download that real quick. And we are then gonna go just download the, the QO app APK here. So you can see, you go to the website, the first one pops up, download the APK, downloads it right away for you and you're good to go. Now that I've downloaded it, uh, QO app APK, we're then gonna put it on our emulator. Now there's a bunch of different emulators that we can use. Um, one of the ones is gonna be Nox, N-O-X. If you want to do downloadnox.com, you'll be able to download the Nox and it'll tell you exactly how to do it. Another one you can use is Bluestacks. Go to bluestacks.com and you can download the Bluestacks emulator. And the third one that I use right now, uh, which I might be switching off of soon, is the one called Mimu. And any of these three emulators are pretty good. You can use Droid 4X as well. I've never used Droid 4X, so I can't really attest to how good it is. it is. Since we've downloaded this APK from the QO app website after we download the emulator of your choice, for Nox, it's really simple. All you're gonna do is you're gonna do your settings for Nox, and it's gonna be up in this little wheel thing up at the top here. You're then going to enable root. Don't hit launch and startup. None of these things really matter. For advanced settings, you can just change these to whatever you like. You can change it to a high performance, low performance, different, um, different things you can use. And the other thing you want to change is change this to mobile phone. Don't you, make sure it's uh, changed from tablet to mobile phone. It'll definitely help you out. Uh, for graphics, uh, you, I use compatible OpenGBL. This is actually just depending on what kind of computer you have. Um, you can use whatever you'd like. You can use a speed speed direct X version or OpenGL. I typically use OpenGL, even though my computer is really good. I, I just decide to, that's a better one to use for Nox. So for property settings, it just shows you we're like uh, property interface settings, shortcut settings. None of these really matter, so don't really worry about those. Um, it's just gonna matter on these. So now then you hit save settings and say, like, hey, you have to restart Nox. And then you restart the Nox and then it'll pop back up again. Okay, now that we've got it all in here, see I have the global version of One Piece here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take this APK and drag it on. Really simple. <laughs> oh. It'll install, it might have a pop-up window that comes up and says, hey, do you want to download this here? And it's, otherwise it's just pretty simple. Um, if you can't drag and drop it, it's not letting you do that. You're gonna have to do it a different way. And you're gonna have to like import the APK this way. So there's a little button here that says APK. Hit okay. And then you have to find it in your computer and then put it on there that way. That's the other way of doing it. Um, so if you're having problems with it, those are two ways of getting it done. All right, so now we're gonna go to QO app. Now we're in QO app. Okay, so to get any kind of APK here, all you're gonna do is type in one piece at the top. It's gonna say one piece treasure keys Japan, just click it. And then you're just going to download it. Real simple. Very, very easy way to download this. And then you, this is basically your, your updating platform, everything. And then you can install. All good to go there. So if you've never been here before, there is the One Piece Treasure Cruise subreddit and there's actually a guide that helps you for re-rolling and it's a perfect guide for newer players and gives you an explanation of what to do. If you want the link, it's gonna be in the description below, just like all the links for everything we're talking about today. The nice thing about this is that there are good emulators here. We have Bluestacks, Knock, etc. And these are uh, these will go over everything we need to talk about. So all the links will be taken to the right part of the page. You can download it through a uh, root and emulator and tells you exactly what to use. Then we're gonna see the setup process. And this is what we really want. Um, this is this is the thing that really matters. So uh, you're gonna download the OPTC Reroller app from the Google Play Store. We're gonna download One Piece Treasure from Google App Store or Play Store, just like we just did with QO app. 
So right now, the only thing we need to left to do is download the re-roller. So if we go to our Google Play Store in here, you can see you can just go in and type OPTC re-roller. And this will pull up right here. So what we're gonna do is install it. Open it up. And then you're gonna do, remember this choice forever. You wanna give it super user access forever. The reason you wanna give it super user access forever is it's because it's just, that's how it works. So we're gonna hit re-roll now on Japan. Now, the problem with this, of course, you have the Google Play Games thing that just pops up all the time. It's really annoying. And then we're back in. This Google Play thing, uh, if you want it to stop, you gotta like, go change it. Now, it's gonna download everything that you need to know right away for the reroller. So once you start it up, all you're gonna have to do is just start up the game and it goes right into it. It makes it really easy for rerolling. Now, what you're gonna wanna do, if you are rerolling for um, an account, is you want to reroll on multiple different instances of Nox at the same time. So another thing to note, and another reason I'm recording this right before the fourth year anniversary, and this is gonna be really helpful for players that are rerolling right now or getting an account to start out with. Now, what's really nice is that with this reroll app, you're not gonna need to do a ton of rerolls, and you're actually not gonna need to pull at all, which is really interesting. And the reason I'm saying this is actually kind of interesting is the whole thing you're going to re-roll for right now is you can actually re-roll for a male. And what that means is that you're going to keep re-rolling until you get this 444 gem spot. And what that means is that you're going to keep re-rolling the game until you get a male that gives you 444 gems. And it's not always possible, but hey, if you can save an account that has 444 gems going into the anniversary, and then you pull on the anniversary right away to, to reroll account, that's a 444 gem reroll along with your 50 gem starter, plus like five or six days in between. So that's almost 500 gems that you're gonna have. And that's basically nine multis. So that allows you to get a ton of legends on your account right away for free. So that would probably be the best way for the fourth anniversary to do rerolls if you can get lucky enough to get this 444 gems. And also, there was a note here um, from one of the moderators on Reddit, and this is actually very true. Um, the Getting the 444 gem thing does not affect other players. So just know that if you continuously reroll to get this mail, it does not lower anybody else's chances because it's just a straight up RNG chance for you to get it in, in general. There's not a limit of how many of them are out there. So now that we finished downloading everything, we're gonna go ahead and start this up. Um, I'm gonna hit click here. And it's gonna start the game for me. now. Obviously, there's no SugaFest right now, and what my whole goal is when doing this reroll video is to make sure that I am able to get um, everything I need to get. So we're just gonna start this up, get our free rainbow, 50 rainbow gems here uh, for doing the swipe, and then there's all the missions that you can do to get more. So right now, the limited rare Kutashiki banner is out. You're not gonna pull on this one. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to our inbox here, and then we're gonna go to our mails. And there's gonna be a ton of mails, and it's gonna give you a bunch of different rewards for logging in. You can see, and we gotta find our daily reward. And I think it's this one right here. You can see this one here is I got, um, I have a daily login reward is four gems. So once I'm done with this, is I'm gonna close out the game, go back in, I'm gonna close out all the other apps too, just make it easier. And then I'm just gonna hit reroll now. And I'm gonna do this a billion times until I get what I need. The nice thing here is we're actually able to just start up the game and again and do this reroll. Now, I recommend if you're gonna do rerolls, Nox is the number one um, emulator to do rerolls on. If you're gonna be playing the game, Bluestacks and Mimu might have better performance for you. It really just depends on your PC specifically. Um, some some emulators are better optimized for other PCs and some are not. So it really just play around with the different emulators and whichever one you find the best is you, you can work them. Nox will work fine for you. You shouldn't have any problems with it. For me personally, I don't like using Nox while I stream. It actually just starts lagging in weird ways. But if I if you are just using it for rerolls and other things, then it's totally fine. Now that we're back in, we just finished doing the reroll. It just automatically brings us to this uh, tap screen again. And we're just gonna go ahead and start it up. Come on. You can see my got the mail, it was just another four gems. So I didn't get what I wanted. So I didn't even what I wanted with the four gems. So now I'm just gonna reroll. Now, one thing to note here is when you're doing rerolling is that you wanna make sure that you don't open any mails that are super duper old. You notice that all these mails here are like 500, 600 days old and such. 
don't open any of those. Anything that says like one or two minutes or something like that, then you're okay. Now, if you're not re-rolling on the anniversary right now for the Japanese version for the fourth year anniversary, it's okay. This is just give you a brief overview of exactly what you need to look for when re-rolling. Of course, only accept males that have the zero minute marker on them. Don't accept any males that are over like 300, 400 days old or even a couple days old. Um, after doing your pulls, you close out One Piece Treasure Cruise, just like you saw me do. And then you're going to open the re-roll app and then just hit re-roll. Then restart One Piece Treasure Cruise again. You're just going to keep continuously doing re-rolls until you get the characters that you want. Now, um, as far as characters that you should be shooting for, depending on where you are in the game, I actually have a tier list that will actually help you out. If you do want to know where the tier, uh, what the current tier list is and the best units to re-roll for are, go ahead and click the card description above so you can get, see that okay. And you'll be able to check out what the most useful units are right now as well as the most future proofs units are, and then you can help figure out your accounts for the future. Uh, I update these tier lists almost monthly, so you'll be able to see everything um, as they come out. But, you know, sometimes they don't have perfect legend releases at the start of every month, so they're usually within a month to two months of uh, being up to date. Once you're finished with your rerolls and you're decided, hey, I am done, I don't need to reroll anymore, what you're going to do is you're going to change your device. You really need to do this. This is very important. And the reason you want to do that is you want to make sure you get rid of all those mails and you want to make sure that you can actually have your account in a playable format. Now, the problem with the LPC Reroller app is it actually does mess up your account a little bit and it doesn't it doesn't work properly, but it helps you start the game with the characters that you want. You're going to copy your ID and just transfer it over. If you don't know how to do that in the Japanese version, I'll go ahead and show you. So on the Japanese version, uh, it's going to be very similar to the global version as far as having the gun. I'm going to swipe. Come on, go to the mails. I'm going to open the zero minute mail here. And I'll open this other zero minute mail. It's my 56 gems right away. Open this other zero minute mail. And prize number nine. So instead of getting prize number 10, you can see I got a prize number nine for this, and I get a free rare recruit pull. So I'm going to get a free pull that will allow me to just get a new unit right away, which is really nice. And sometimes if you are pulling on a Sukofest banner, it will allow you to get reds. But I, I don't know if you're able to get reds outside of a Sukofest banner, so you can like re-roll with a free pull here. Uh, really depends, I guess. I'm not really sure. The best way to transfer your account is, of course, X out of the game, come back into the game without re-rolling the game. And what you're gonna do is just gonna click this button up here for the reroll APK. All you're gonna do is hit this green button, uh, this button at the top here, and then you're gonna hit transfer ID. And then this bottom here says issue ID. Oh, sorry, no, it's issue. Um, the bottom one says transfer from ID. This one says issue ID. You can click this one right here, and then this will allow you to copy your user ID here. You're gonna open a notepad. The notepad will allow you to just go, hey, copy and paste and then pulls it out your id and password makes it really easy so if you do get a bunch of different accounts that you want you're able to just copy and paste and put them right here and then what i do sometimes if i'm doing a bunch of re-rolls i just go hey uh this is a luffy and ace account if it was you know or is it say whatever the account is or this account has uh if you're doing what i'm doing right now it's this account has 444 gems or this account has 94 gems or whatever and then just Write them out, make a bunch of different accounts, and you'll be able to just create a bunch of different accounts for yourself so you can re-roll on the anniversary a lot easier. Or if you wanted to use this for uh, the future, if you're not re-rolling on the anniversary, you can just re-roll a bunch of different accounts so you can find the one that you really want to keep. All right, guys, well, that's going to do it for my uh, re-roll compilation guide to tell you a little bit about what you should be looking for as far as re-rolling goes, how to transfer your account over to your same advice, make sure you don't have any problems with it, get rid of all the unwanted mails, and get everything going there. My name's Second Poco. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys did enjoy the video, make sure you smack the like button down below as well as the subscribe button down below so we get a lot of support in the channel and of course keep the channel growing if you guys do want to get notifications on all my videos make sure you hit the bell notification right next to it so you get notifications every time i drop a video most recent video on the channel it's right over there if you want the beginner guide to tell you exactly what you should be focusing on on the game and all the mistakes new players make it's right down there all right guys we well, have a great rest of your day peace